Electra, baby! It's Ben and Chris here, Carving a Car Diaries, and welcome back to another very exciting video. We're working on the SUK, first time in the unit. First time in the unit, she's up, she's on axle stands, that was easy, wasn't it? Fucking well easy. There's a jacking point in the centre between the wheels, up, stands underneath, and you jack it off the diff on the rear, up, on the stands. Dish bash bosh. Fucking 10 minutes and your car's off the ground. Amazing. Nothing too exciting today. Nah, just general, innit? We're gonna do a little bit of a rust inspection, which we've already done underneath, to be fair, and it's pretty pocket very good at some point it's been under sealed which is exactly what, what, what i wanted to see yeah definitely and uh, you can tell it has and as far as chassis wise goes it's solid. it looks soft, absolutely solid which yeah. is a massive relief for me because you can only look so far when you go to buy one yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. but yeah. so far so good i don't know about wheel arches and stuff yet but that'll be another video anyway today we're just doing a full full service on her fluid wise i'm gonna put fluids in her Oh. <laughs> so oil, God. oil filter, gearbox oil, differential fluid, and this, again, and we're saying this a lot recently, is all courtesy of Danny at Dino Days Performance Parts. Legend. He saw that I got the SDK, we were chatting about it through Messenger and stuff like that, and he said, what's your first thing to do then? I said, first thing to do, what I generally, what we both do, generally do when you buy a car, regardless of whether they've said it or not, I like to know it's done. All the fluids. We'll do the. I'll do the coolant another time. But all the like gearing fluids. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so, totally, yeah. and then he was like, "I'll hook you up." Then he hooked me up. He's I already man. had the oil, He's the engine the oil. Hooked me up with a filter. Hooked me up with the uh, sump plug washers. Hooked me up with the gearbox oil. Hooked me up with the diff oil. What an absolute legend! So please, 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 go down to the description. Just pause the video here. Just pause the video right now. Have you paused? You put you put your fucking crisps down and pause the video. Thank you. Go down <laughs> into the description. Someone's going to be eating crisps. Yeah, they're going to be fucking they're, what's it's made? They're amazing. They're going to go, shit, is he talking to me? Anyway, yeah. ooh, ooh. go into the description. Watching number one, you. <laughs> number one, click the first link and go buy yourself some merch. Number two, go a little bit further down, click on Dino Days, give them a subscribe. Check him give out. Give them a follow on Facebook, give them a follow on Instagram, and go buy some cool shit. This is, thank you so much, Danny. So, here we go. Car's up. She's up. Up and stand, so we've got Chrissy's light under there, look. Look at that, made. bad boy, I'm blown up, yeah. Let's have a look at him, look. Rather than these little work lights, which are fine for bits and bobs, when you want to actually look underneath, look at this, look. You see everything, this is what I was on about, about the underseal, look. Everything is coated in the black underseal, apart from the moving parts, obviously, but everything chassis-wise is looking absolutely pucker. It's like I, like Such I, a relief. Like I said before, mate, up with this, I think, Ben's got a little gem, personally. I think Someone, whoever been, had it well, has really looked after yeah, it. Yeah, you can tell a lot by service history on an older car. Yeah, you've got a stack to it. And, it, and there it is, it is like this, yeah, yeah. full, full of service history. All the uh, servicing and all that sort of shit, obviously. So, uh, well, it's exact prime example, the roof. If you didn't really get like, the car, you would never change the roof, would you? Well, exactly. And that's and how brand they did, roof about a year in Africa. So, whoever had it has really looked after it. Defo. So, is a bonus. I'm going to pop the hood. Oh! For the first time. What, you mean you're gonna pop the fucking snooker table that's on the front? Yeah. It's massive, mate. I also don't have another little trick from, is it LTC Performance, the YouTube channel? They are like Honda S2000 specialists. They do all the chargers, all the turbos in America, and he's so knowledgeable anyway. And what I did find out was that obviously your hood goes up like that, but you can take that out of there and put it somewhere here. I'm sure there's another, yeah, is it there? Oh, I'm look like a twat now. There, I think. And then put it in this side, is it? That one. That one. And it puts it right, right up, back. like right back. But I don't really need to Yeah, you, wait, like you could do the FN, can't you? The FN, you got That's one right. there and you got That's one right. there. So so this one, you have to physically take that out. Yeah. So anyway, That's so we're gonna... That's not a bad job to do, mate. <laughs> Wait, you, have but to you have to put it back to close it. 
The only thing I want to change is I'm going to be changing this 100% because it's disgusting. <coughs> it's fine them anyway, look how fucked that is. Yeah, that's rotten. Right. I'm buying another one of them anyway, they're not cheap. Again, Tego will sell them, or there is a chap that's selling one second hand. I'm going to take these off, wire wheel them all down, spray them up. I might leave them till I do the rocker cover because I think I'm going to do them the same colour as the rocker cover. Uh, oh! So, anyway, we're going to do oil first. Pretty bloody simple, I'm not going to lie. There's your oil filter, literally there. Piece so, we'll piece. do that from underneath. Easy. Uh, the fill, obviously, is there. Take the cap off in a sec. Uh, drain him out. The sub plug. <laughs> Oh, God, bloody hell. Ah, here we go. Right, this is how good Honda are, look. Chris won't be able to see this because he's not under it. Just in case you get confused, it says engine oil and there's an arrow pointing to the one you have to undo. That is just Honda engineering right there, isn't it? Yeah, so, there is this sump plug. So we're gonna take that out, drain the fluids, Get the filter off, which we should be able to access from hey, somewhere. Mate, there it is. Is it? Yeah. I want to change that filter though, so that I'm going to change the oil anyway. Because that filter is not the right filter. I mean, it is because it's on there, but yeah, I want to put the Honda one on. Yeah. Hang on, coming out. That oil is clean as a fucking whistle. Is it? Oh, bugger again. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll change it anyway. Clean of the fucking whistle. And I know it's bar. done, and then I know when it's changed. And then I'll know in, I don't know, how often do you change your oil usually? I change mine, well, it's still yeah. on mileage, but I change mine literally every year. I would, I'd probably. Every I, year. I knew a lot of miles in this, obviously, <clears throat> but a lot of people would advise, like, if you really want to look after it, and you can change it five times a year, all it's going to do is help. Do you know and what I mean? It's fair, just going to maintain it. I'd do it every 3,000 miles, probably. Yeah, to be fair. If you're doing it yourself, an oil change, what is it for a filter and oil? Exactly. It's, it's not a lot. Oh, cool. And it's not a big job. As I can't remember where I got the oil from, but uh, <coughs> I can't bloody remember where it was from. I think it was just Euros. It was on offer. Got the Mobile Super 5W4E 3000. Fully synthetic, obviously. Well, and mate. then we've got the Honda, sorry mate, Honda filter, which is the right one. We've got the diff oil. We've got the gearbox oil and we've got the washers and everything. We're good to go and some Haribos. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, cheers Danny. Let's take a while. <coughs> I've got to say as well, yeah, when we're talking about engine services yeah. and stuff, I don't know if it's one of our subscribers or what, but he's got a Type R FN2 yeah. and it's just clocked up over 200,000 miles. Mad, isn't it? Through just looking after exactly. it. Main, regular yeah, servicing, regular I'm on, servicing. Totally, I'm on a Definitely few SD 1000 groups and they are like crazy on them in America. There is so many in America, it's crazy. Another thing I learned before I carry on is that everyone over here calls them the AP1 and the AP2. This is an AP1, and then they say the faceless is an AP2. Well, that is not right in the UK. I found this out the other night. Oh, right, yeah. It's still an AP1, but it's an AP1 facelift if it's over a certain year with the different bumpers and the different wheels. Whereas in America, it's AP1 and AP2. Because of the AP2 in America and America only, they put a 2.2 litre engine in it because mm -hmm. the Americans were pissing and moaning that they wanted more torque. So they brought the revs down to 8,000. Right. VTEC coming in a little bit sooner. <laughs> and they, there's more oh, bottom end torque than there is top end because the Americans wanted that, but they didn't give it to anyone else. They just got a facelift. Oh, so the engine okay. stayed the same in, for us. Okay. In America, they put a 2.2 in to give it more torque. Fucking Americans. Jokes, love you. <laughs> so, well, I tell yeah. you what, he done a fucking, he does some research. Mate, I don't boy. buy I anything. You, even if it's, searching. even if it's a GoPro, a camera, a car, I research the shit out of every, <laughs> everything and anything before I buy anything. I don't. Chris just buys it. Just if, All <laughs> reviews, yeah, that's got exactly. four, five stars. I'll do. <laughs> Add some. So, I don't know what size fucking thing. Well, we got this to me. Not make this too long. Oh, oh yeah, you're gonna get my fucking. Oh, oh, look at him, look. It's got a little. Look oh. at that, look. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, we're gonna drain the oil into the oil pan, obviously. Again. This one's got a little spout so you can pour it back into the oil that you took it out of and, and dispose of it correctly and save the environment and all that, which is good. 
can't remember what it is. I think it's quite a lot. I think it's a 17. I think it's a 17, which is that bugger out. So we'll crack him before... Well, I might have to get under and do it, and then you like yeah. that side of the film. Crack him. Get off that side, actually. Crack him off, and then we'll do oil filter when it's drained. See, the car is actually high enough for me to fit under, but Ben's fat head gets in the way. That's tight, isn't it? And lefty loosey, righty tidy. God, that was nice and loose. There. Right. So where are we? So That's there's. Better. That's better. The sub plug literally directly above that, about, I don't know, 200 mil, if you can see, is the oil filter, but we'll do we'll do this first. That might be a fuck I off, it might not be, but we shall bloody ruddy see. So, let's pull it out first. Hopefully, it's going to shoot out. If you control the bucket, Chrissy. You're going to have to move your fat head. What? Wait, if you move to, your, fat head. move to your left. Well, that's gonna, it's going to come out like this though. Yeah, well, move to your left a little bit and then... Oh. No, because it's going to shoot out like that. Well, yeah, not that fucking far, it won't. Right, here we go. Make sure your engine's warm, obviously. Because it makes it easier. You can, well, if you want to, you can engine flush as well, but... We haven't on this instance. Even says it's... engine oil there, mate, with an arrow. Does it? Yeah. It's idiot proof. It's Kawabunga car diary proof. <laughs> There it goes. Uh, it's, well, look, it's not. It is black. Is it? Maybe because it's set at the bottom. Maybe they just topped it up. Maybe. Fresh. All right then. There she goes. She's pissing. She's pissing, pissing handsomely. I five. think it's five liters to fill it up. Just over five liters, maybe. Is it? Pull that back a bit, because when it drains, it obviously slows down and gets further back, and you'll end up with shit all over your floor. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this though, look at this action. Oh, look at that. There. Oh, the belly. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is, look. McCoy Sitsky. What? McCoy Sitsky. Your plate. Oh, yeah. Sitsky. Sitsky. Shout out to Mark Foster, Foster's Games Reviews. Go check him out on YouTube if you like your. Uh, your vintage toys and your vintage computer gaming, your NES and your Mega Drive and all that shit for hooking us up with our hoodies that we're wearing today. Donatello and Michelangelo. There he goes. Is that tight? It? No, you're undoing it. Sure. Yeah. That's it. And should now. Can you now undo that? Or I can do it by hand. Double team it. Can you get in there, one? Just that's it. Twist the top. Is that a bite? Good one. There we go. Double team. So now you should. Three. Right. After like dipping the dipstick and have a look. Oh, it looks fairly clean. Very clean. But well, I mean, we'll pull it out when it's finished draining and have a proper look. But. I mean, it's it's dark, obviously, <coughs> but we just wanted to show you this. So this is what the filter we took off of it. I don't know what it is. A Wix filter, VL7107. I don't know. Probably and the one I've got, obviously, <coughs> is a Honda one, or the S2000, which is this part number. Take it, I sell them. Uh, make sure that the film is still fucking all sealed all the way around it because shit can fall in there if not top tip then top tip of the day but look this is what i'm talking about so that's fine it's doing its job and everything but honda designed this for a reason so you look at the size of them holes and look at the size of them holes those holes there's more of them but they're smaller there's few more there's few uh, of them there's less of them jesus <laughs> christ mate i can't get me words Late night that. last night boy. it was so yeah so these holes are bigger and I'd, I'd always go OEM when it comes to servicing things. Yeah. The guys that built it put this filter on. Exactly, so yeah. put this filter on. And they're cheap as fuck. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, mine was free, thanks to Danny. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know I what agree. I mean? It's yeah, like, totally so, yeah, agree, mate, yeah. I'd always go OEM. And every forum I've been on, blah, 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 people are like, I've got a KDM one. I'm putting a Mugen one on. And they're all different on the inside. Just stick to what... It's on there, like we've said before, when we've done, exactly. we've done that uh, our, uh, air assist valve. So, yeah, so I've got it on mine. 
It's oh, people yeah. blank it off, but it's there for a reason, mate. Honda put it on there for a reason. Exactly. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Chinese chicken. Fuck, Chinese fucking chicken. So there we go. We'll let that drain for a bit and we'll come back to you. <laughs> a lot of oil filters come with a washer, don't they? This one didn't. So yeah, that's it. Little washer. Again, take away sell these or Cox Motor Parts is another really good place for you. OEM bits and bobs, you know what I mean? Clips, washers, yeah, all yeah. shit like that, they're really good. And yeah, put you, you don't have to, I mean, inspect it. If you haven't got one, don't worry about it. Mine was actually in pretty good nick. But it's more like a crush washer, isn't it? Yeah. So for the sake of fucking 40p. A lot, of them, are, a lot of them are like rubber, aren't they? That's yeah. Like actual rubber washer, but that's a metal one. So uh, slide that on. Happy days, it's still draining. The differential <coughs> has got two different ones. Differential has got an alley one part number and a copper one see mm -hmm. part Ooh. copper goes on the top alley goes on the bottom so copper goes on your fill with your diff and the alley goes on the drain of your diff and how you remember that is copper top <laughs> I'm fucking full of information you are mate you are the fucking, I've done my research you are the book of knowledge I've today. done my research and if you are coming to this channel because of the S2K, and you've never been here before, welcome. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not an expert. Don't shout at me, because a lot of people with S2Ks are a little bit twitchy, I've noticed on forums. Oh, really? I've already addressed the AP1 issue, so you can't have a go at me for that, because I know about that. Because everyone's like, oh, I want an AP2, and they're like, oh, it's not a fucking AP2, mate, it's a facelift. <laughs> I'm like, all right, chill out. So I've sorted that. As you can tell, Ben is absolutely buzzing about this car. I am, mate. He's so excited. It's nice to get a spanner on it. Like, it's the first time I've had any wrench on it, and I cannot wait to start making it my own. Yeah. Anyway, that that mean, that, we'll you know what that means, don't you? When it comes to Ben, it's going to be fucking Larry. I don't know, this one might be a bit more subtle. Subtle, yeah. I'm thinking two piece wheels, though. Oh, God. Which is fucking expensive, but deep dish, chrome deep dish, two piece wheels. Yeah. Coilovers. Don't know about exhaust systems, I need to look into that. Because I know Danny supplies and uh, Matt over at Tactical Racing supplies. S2K exhaust, so I might chat to both of them, see if we can cut a little deal in there. Because they, they sell, I think, the NVIDIA, the HKS, the Jays Racing, but it's all about sound for me. I don't want that wasp noise. I hate it, which I didn't want with my Civic. I wanted it deep, which is why I went custom. So, uh, but well, I don't think Fucking deep custom. it is, but <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> anyway, we'll let that drain, and then we'll come back to you, fill the oil up, and then get on with the next one. All right, fill up. I'll put a little bit of oil over there like that. Grease up the seal. Oh. <laughs> I like to put oil in there. Because then the engine ain't got pushed the oil through it. It's already got some in there. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Another Ben's top tip of the It just day. goes everywhere when you bloody... If I put too much in there, it's going to fucking all tip out when you turn it. You don't well, anyway, mate. Covered in shit anyway. There's a fucking hole. There. Right there on the side. Watch this. I do not want to be dropping this. Right into that pot underneath. No way. For the thread. There it is. Ish. We'll give I'll a tighten little, it a bit more from underneath, I think. Give me a little turn with the old oil filter tool. Do that in a moment. Alright, I'm going to whack the unit in to see me put the fucking bolt back in a fucking hole, do you? No. Right then, filter's on. Benji's just done that up. Now it's time to fill her up. It's so nice to work on a car, you can actually get to everything. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Look at this as well now. You open that bonnet right up there. Boosh. Another top tip that Ben found out. Mm. Look at this, look. look how open it is. I can't remember how much it goes in it. I think it's just over five litres. So we'll whack five in, I think, and then give it a measure. Yeah. So I'll do the old pot, <clears> the <throat> five litre pot. I'll whack the lot in, shall I can't believe, look how easy it is with this bonnet right up. Look at the fucking size of it. It's a pool table.
<coughs> Let's see what's come out of it. Is it worth changing it? It's pretty good, isn't it, to be fair? They say that that golden well, that brownie like, colour. That looks like your finger has just slipped through the toilet paper. Gross. <laughs> your finger? I don't have shits like you. I don't know about that. It's not that bad, look. it's completely see through pretty much. It's that golden yeah. brownie colour, but it's very fresh. I know what it's done now. I'm going to jot it down on the old. Off that little flaky bit of red paint off the rock box. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The beauty of this little fucking Chris's little beast is look at that. Look. Now we can dispense this old oil back into there and then get rid of it. Look, how good's that? Oh, that's because it's warm. Just yeah, be careful not don't tip it too much because it comes up the bloody tip. Right, check the dipstick. It was reading full, but so we've. Started the engine, just let it run for a couple of minutes, then I'm gonna check it again and see what it's reading then because obviously it's got a fucking work its way around and shit, but it should be around five litres, maybe a smidgen over. So let it run for a bit. And then we're golden, there's no leaks, check the filter and everything. Check the soft plug, nothing's leaking. We are golden. I saw you change your oil S2000. Yeah. Right then Ben, what's next? Yeah. Gear. Gear. Um engine oil done. Sweet nut. Beautiful. Five litres was filled her up. Um, I'm going to do gearbox now. You nice. Like you come around this side. It's pretty easy to get to as well, mate, isn't it? Yeah, you said. I'll be able to show you. It should be the fill nut. is a 17 mil socket, and I believe that the you get this. I can't remember the cord. That's a half inch, I think, isn't it? Quarter inch socket that size should go into the drain. I'm hoping. There we'll is, find out. Well, if not, mate, there is a drain yeah, plug. Yeah, we've got a drain plug. We've got a drain plug. Right, you took me the GoPro. <laughs> the Pro, let us go. Uh, under here, you'll see. There he is, let. There's your drain. And there's your fill. Right next to each other. Handsome. So we'll try and crack the fill off first. Because obviously, as we've said before, if you can't fill it up and you've drained it, you're fucked. <laughs> so always crack your fill nut off first always before crack, you always, drain. Basically, uh, what you're trying to say, Ben, we always crack one off first. Always, mate. Always crack one off first. Well, it just makes life better in general, doesn't it? <laughs> so, hold that, and we'll try and crack them off, bud. All right, bud. All right, bud. Oh, God, God, this is fucking tight. We should have gone up a bit higher. Oh, where am I going this time? Left eight. Towards the... Towards me? No, towards the back door. Is sure? No, no that, way. that way. Right, that's correct. Handsome. Yeah, so that, the small end on a socket, like the smaller wrench, um, fits perfectly in the, uh, in the, the, in the drainer. Window. I've cracked them off, bye. Nice. Watch it, because this will fucking shoot Time right out. for the stench. Yeah, pull out a bit more this way, I mean. <coughs> Alright, undo it. Keep pressure on it, obviously. And you shouldn't get covered in shit. <sighs> there we go, that's clean. Fuck me, it is, isn't it? It's all fucking clean as fuck. Right, I like to do it. Alright, and then take that one out. Oh, I can smell it already. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, it's boring. Lovely. Look at that. Look. look how easy things are on this car, guys. It, Honestly. It's amazing. Honda are absolute legends when they made this car, aren't they? It's so easy, mate. It, it is. It really is. It needs to be a bit higher up on the stands, mate. That's all. Yeah, that's clear as fuck, mate. That, that didn't really need doing. But again, it's so easy to do. You might as well fucking do it. All right, we'll leave that to drain. Try and get out. I can't get past my boobs. Let me see what I bought. Let me show you what I bought. It's like this easier. He loves buying little bits of bobs. What are you whispering about? Nothing. <laughs> he loves his little. Um, Look at this look. Oh, God. Before? Come here. Here we are. What are you chatting about? Nothing, mate. So before. We were using the old, if you remember the FN2 gearbox oil change that we did, we were using the old penis pump. Well, we have upgraded. A penis pump? Look at this bad boy. That is cool. We've upgraded. 
So now we don't have to suck it up, put it in, suck it up, put it in. We can just put a litre in there, and just stick that on there and just... <sighs> Done. <laughs> That's an intro right there. Booty. Look at that, look. I bet that'll screw onto all sorts of pots as well. Yeah, probably, mate. Decent. So, let's check we've got the right stuff. Transmission fluid, MTF3, Honda. It's got to be MTF3, guys. Always MTF3. <laughs> <laughs> look at this spacky hands trying to grab the rag. Uh, look at T-Rex. Look at T-Rex. Fucking hell. God. I want to do, there's a, not a mod, but a, a maintenance thing you can do on your shifter where it is and re-grease it all and that. Put oh, a new yeah, you spring in it. Yeah. Apparently it makes it fucking silky smooth. Oh, so we'll be doing that at some point, whether we do a video or not is another thing, because there's probably about 8 million videos of how to do that. Well, these um, are quite notchy boxes anyway, aren't they? Oh, very, yeah. Like the FN box. Right. Here it goes, though. Oh, well, this is going to fucking work. I should have gone up a lot fucking higher than this. You just hook that in there like that, and then. S oh my god! Look at that! And then just fucking pump it in, boy. Isn't that good. Yeah. What, mate? How long are you gonna be? <laughs> How long are you gonna be pumping that for, mate? Isn't that a good idea, though? Or you could always just run a pipe down, but you need two people for that. Run a pipe yeah, down right. from the top of the engine and pour it in. Is it off the chassis? Fuck's <laughs> sake. Oh, you still with me? Look at that. He is fucking smashing in. That little metal hook on the end is a lifesaver. Yeah, that, yeah, that is a very good idea. And just do that until it starts dribbling out the fuel hole. And then you know you're full. Fuck me, it's hurting my arms. It's a workout, isn't it? Maybe halfway. Section. Alright, it's dribbling out, mate. That's it. And when it starts to come out like that, you're full. There we go. There we go. Top down your fill. Top down your drain. Dispose of your grubby oil the right way. And you're done. Alright there, peeps. Oh. Let's have a lucky under here. Oh god. Right. This is the diff, obviously. That fucker there is a 24 mil. That's your drain. Your fill is up there, which is a really stupid size. Is a 23. So we've cracked that first. Then we've cracked that. Now we're gonna drain it. Put it back in, new washer, fill it up, the same way we filled the gearbox oil up. Sorted. It's like I'm in a cave. Right in there. I can't I've see. Them. I've already showed them this here. I can't see nothing. So. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, is it dripping already, is it? No, that's the penetration fluid. Oh, the penetration. Oh no. Alright, let's get all this out of the fucking way. A rubber mallet is always handy. We picked one of them up earlier. And a 23 wheel spanner. How much does this hold then? Uh, about a litre. Oh, yeah. It's only little in it. That... It's only a little one. Right, this is the fucker. We don't want to get this on us because it fucking reeks. Oh, <sighs> oh it's all over me. Uh, <laughs> failed to <miserably. laughs> breach Oh, it's so gross, mate. It's so thick. It's clean, mate. <sighs> it's clean. Oh, smell that. Oh, oh I put it on your oh, nose. Oh, you put it on your nose, tosser. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm going to be smelling now, isn't it? You fuck. Oh, my God. Nice, that, isn't it? Yeah, fucking beautiful, mate. There, oh, we, look go. At that. there oh. we go. Now she's here coming. Where did I put the foot? Oh, it's still in there, is it? Has that been fucking changed, you reckon? It looks fairly clean, mate, to be honest. It does. It's been changed at some point in its life, hasn't it? Yeah, but again, I know now it's done. And... I don't reckon it was done on the... 
Right, let's get all these out. Your service beforehand, you have before you had the car, but... No. Well, I don't know, I don't think so. Your washer off. That's your drain. And then your fill washer is a copper one. As I said, and you always remember that by copper top. Not very racist to gingers. Got ginger friends. <laughs> Shout out Lucy Trotman. Are you ginger? I don't know. I guess so. Trotters, ginger, Ryan Fowl, ginger. Says he's strawberry blonde, but he's not. <laughs> Who else do we know it's ginger? We love gingers. Yeah, it's just copper knob. Good. Copper knob? A copper well. I'm in the beard. Oh, mate, there's all sorts in there. <laughs> right, let's get the washers. Look at that. Ben, is this. Um... Which one did I say was which? Is this your S2000, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's which? Oh, that one's slightly smaller, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's your fill, that's your drain. Put it in my mouth. Put it in my mouth. You love things in your mouth, though, don't you? Not fucking diff fluid. There we go, two brand new washers. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> Give up my bad sexual chocolate. What film? <clears throat> eh? Put it in the comments. Chris don't know, because Chris don't know nothing about good older films. Chris has never seen Breakfast Club, can you believe it? Oh, shut up, mate. Best soundtrack ever to any movie. What, what, put it in the comments now. If you guess what this is, first person to guess it right, I'll send you a sticker. A Cowboy Gakari sticker of my choice, because I don't know what we've got left. Give it up for my band, Sexual Chocolate. What film is it from? Put it in the comments. First one to answer correctly, wins a sticker. <laughs> 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 Very generous, mate. Oh, I've got loads of them. Look at these, look. Fucking flamingo pants, look. Yeah, mate. Look at these, look. I'm not fucking about fashion, mate. He loves his pants. As you can see, fucking state. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, cab on the card, Harry Fart. There you go. Right, she's drained. So we're putting the drain bolt back in. I don't want to do it too tight, we'll talk it up in a minute. There we go. And then we use exactly the same process as we did with the gearbox oil. Put it in a little pumper. You don't have to, I suppose you could gravity do it. But this is just easier. One litre. Pump it in. It's very thick, gloopy oil as well. It is, though. mate. It really is. Oh, it's thick. There she goes. Oh, that's harder to push down than the other one. Is it? Because it's so fucking thick. Oh. Bugger me, Chrissy! <laughs> Fuck! Be, 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 be. We're done. Engine oil, done. Oil filter, done. Gearbox oil, done. Diff oil, diff oil. done. Stinky, stinky diff oil, done. She's back down. She's a nice little treat today. We have to look at as shit as ever. <laughs> I don't oh, like oh, that. Oh, no, I forgot to show you this as well. I did my first mod. Oh my god, she's just state. She's so filthy. Yeah. Link in description if you want to grab yourself a decal. There we have it. Massive thank you again to Danny and Dino Days of Performance for supplying yes, all Danny. the oil, the filter. The sump washers, everything. Yeah, Amazing. Everything. You absolute legends. Make sure you go and give them a follow. Also, make sure you go and give Tactical Racing a follow. Our second sponsor mm -hmm. for all your mechanical needs and your parts and your everything else. Amazing. That was Flash so wash. easy, mate. It was. Apart from we didn't have a 23 mil spanner. Yeah, it's 23 it. mil spanner for the diff oil. For the one. fill nut. And you can, yeah. we've got a 23 mil socket, but there's not enough room. You can't get the, in there. There's like a bit of subframe or something there. Yeah. And you just can't get a wrench on it to get it. So it has to be a spanner. So we got one of them, which was like six quid. And also, like you said as well, the, the penetrating oil as well is probably a good idea to do on these because I don't think yeah. you can change a diff oil on them. I don't, no, I don't, I don't know. Think so. It doesn't really come under a service, I would have thought. So. No, I'm not too sure, mate, to be honest. But it was yeah. a bit stubborn to get off, but a bit of, bit of penetrating oil, 23 mil spanner. So boom. Good. And that's it done now. That's done for that's, a year, probably. To be fair, again, I know I keep saying it, it's been looked after anyway. <laughs> The oils and stuff that come out of it, as you all know, it's in on the video. Yeah, they anyway, pretty good, to be fair. Ben, for peace of mind, 
new car you want to do it. You want to do it. Over. So next up on the SDK, <coughs> excuse me, is so you're a bit torn, aren't you? What to go for next? Yeah, but next I'm going to get the bumpers off. Look at the crash bar situation because they rust like fuck. Yeah. Get the carpets out of the boot because I know that there's water in the boot. So we need to seal the boot and treat the rust and all that shit. So that'll probably be next on her, which is not really a pricey one. Just got to get the... Do it ourselves anyway. Get the stuff, grind it down with a fucking wire brush on a drill and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, it's just a bit, of a bit of a time on that, isn't it? Really? Yeah, but, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. You can see from underneath there's two drain holes but underneath the boot. And you can see where the water was dripping out of one, and around one of them is is rusty. So I'm imagining when you lift the carpet up, there's going to be You're a lot of surface rust yeah. because the toolkit that's underneath the carpet is rusting mm -hmm. from the damp. So yeah, there we go. That's on the to do that, list. Mate. To do list. That was super simple. Loved yeah. it. So yeah, yeah, thank everything's you. easy to get to. Nice job. Happy fucking days. days. So yeah, thank you all to the new subscribers. Yes, if you're not thank you all. Then just do it because. Makes you us feel better should. about ourselves, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so much better. <laughs> to all the existing subscribers. No, thanks again. All oh, your support is amazing. It is amazing, um, absolutely amazing. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's brilliant. So yeah, Infinity decals. Nice mm. one for keep chucking Get out merch. the merch. First link it's in the description. Well. There's many links in the description now. But the first one is the merch. So grab yourself something that's from as small as a decal to a cup, right up to a beautiful, lush, warm winter hoodie. <laughs> Me. So I'm selling it. What is the sale? What is what do we say for it though? Cop a bit of merch. Cop some merch. Cop some merch. Cop dapped merch. Yeah, it's cool. Or something like that. So there we go. Thank you all so much. We love you all and we shall see you on the, the next, next video. video. Peace, Peace out. out. Bye bye. bye, -bye.